Hey guys, welcome back to Eat Bella Travel. This is Jenny and Kevin, and today we're super excited to show you around Lake Catemaco in Veracruz. Located in the southern half of the state, Catemaco is one of the most mysterious towns in Veracruz. The small city of less than 40,000 people sits on the edge of a freshwater lake of the same name, and it's a popular vacation destination for Mexican nationals and mostly unknown to foreign tourists. Catemaco is a beautiful weekend getaway if you're looking for some quiet time with nature with a side of spiritual cleansing. Catemaco in Mexico is known for its sorcerers and witchcraft. For centuries, these sorcerers, or brujos as they're known around here, have lived in the area and claimed to keep ancient secrets passed down by their ancestors to help people heal from evil spirits. Its shamans and warlocks have attracted plenty of tourism for decades. Till this day, Catemaco attracts tourism for its mysterious magic, but aside from its sorcery, it's a beautiful town surrounded by colorful birds, medicinal plants, and monkeys. But before we start our boat tour, we had to stop and try some tegogolos. Just a very rough, squishy um, tegogolo. It's kind of, what's it called? Um, in English? I have no idea. Tegogolo, tegogolo, no, what it is. It's um, we'll, we'll go to Google Translate and let y'all know what this is. We don't even know. No, but there's a name to it. Conch. It's a conch that only comes out in the Lake of Catemaco, so it's a special staple to this city. Oh, that's really good. I mean... It's like a cocktail. If you like seafood, you'll like it. Tegogolos are a lake snail that only sprout in the lake of Catemaco. The town advertises this as an aphrodisiac, but we've noticed in many places that claim to sell aphrodisiacs are perhaps just using this as a marketing strategy. Whatever, it works. Mm, very salty. One of the main attractions here is a boat tour on Lake Atemaco, costing around 100 pesos per person. The tour takes you to different parts of the lake for about 5 hours. First stop, the rock where the town got its name. Legend goes, an indigenous man by the name of Catemasca claimed to have seen an appearance of La Virgen del Carmen on this rock in 1914. Due to this discovery, the town was named after him, Catemaco. Second stop, the Ecological Reserve of Nanciaga. Nanciaga is an eco-site that offers tourism by respecting its natural resources and preserving its pre-Hispanic culture. The eco-resort has seen famous visitors like Hollywood actors and movie producers. They film movies like Medicine Man and Apocalypto here. This is a tribute to Tonantzin, the mother of all gods and the pre-Hispanic figure that inspired the Virgin of Guadalupe. The reason her mouth is painted black is symbolism for the absorption of her children's sins. You'll also see historical artifacts and replicas of the Olmeca culture. This big head statue, for example, is one of the most iconic. The jaguar is another major symbol of power in the Olmeca culture. As the largest hunter in the Americas, one of the Olmec gods was a half jaguar, half man being. So in the hut behind me, you've got a shaman who does a variety of spiritual cleanses using earthy minerals like copal and herbs, um, like uh, basil, for example, or sage. And it costs around 150 pesos in here, so it's a pretty horrible a way to cleanse your spirit and feel light and refreshed. The secret to the fountain of youth. If you've ever had a mud mask facial, you can thank the Mesoamerican indigenous nations for that. 
The powder is volcanic ash mixed with water that has amazing cleansing benefits for your skin. After this, I'm gonna look 10 years younger, right? This is Kevin's secret to staying looking young. Yeah. Couldn't tell I was 40 years old, huh? Este lugar se llama Semeli, que Semeli es una palabra en Nahual que quiere decir lugar o salón de bellas. They say that this tree gives you positive vibes, so we're gonna hug it. Part of this tour includes going through the tunnel of love or el túnel del amor, and it is said that any couple who walks in with their hands held or just embracing each other got to seal that love with the kiss at the end. So we're gonna walk through and then that's a kiss. Yeah. I can barely move my first. Alright, we're gonna see how this works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> uh, this Nanciaga tour is coming to an end. I gotta wash this face off. Watch how 10 years get clipped out of my age. Teenage face, check that out. <laughs> Feels so refreshing though. Last stop, the Monkey Island. In 1974, the University of Veracruz stocked one of their islands in Laguna Catemaco with important macaque monkeys from Thailand to do a research study. Today we get the experience of seeing these little monkeys from our boat. Little did we know, we'd be robbed by one of them. This little guy started monkeying around and hopped on one of our boats as we were getting close to take pictures with them. And the next thing I knew, he was stealing my bakery pastries. He snatched the paper bag from right beneath my legs and bit off the bread to get at the chocolate inside the middle. And this is monkeys like a cow. After we saw how happy the chocolate made him, we thought it'd be rude if we didn't share some with his friends too. If you plan to come to Catemaco, there's a handful of hotels. We stayed at a hotel Playa Cristal, and they were clean, nice bathrooms. Don't expect brand new TVs, but hey, it's a great place to stay, especially at an affordable price. We hope you guys enjoyed our adventure today. Catamaco is definitely one of the hidden gems. It's really nice to see all the families gather around here. It feels like a nationals little town to come experience and get a get away from for the weekend yeah more of a local spot for people to come and have a nice little getaway so we're tired now it's been a long day um so we gotta go se cuidan se bañan y los vemos hasta la próxima chao bye